cover your ears. George Clooney comes to Venice and creates a mob scene as photographers and fans hey. clamor for mm -hmm. a Throwing the empty shells back in there. Feel better? Yeah. It's amazing here. I went out last night, we went to this, uh, the, we went to this Italian restaurant. And, uh, and, and you know, they start with Check the news. Hmm? Check the news. All right, that's, that's a little scene from the movie The Limey, directed by Steven Soderbergh from 1991. I just got to watch this today, and I'm pretty glad I did, because... It was a fun movie. It's kind of a cop and robber's tale with uh, Peter Fonda, uh, as you heard in the clip, playing the bad guy. He plays a pretty good bad guy. Like, he's kind of a wiggly kind of guy, kind of slithering around. Um, he's like a, in the, in the film, he's like a music producer, really wealthy. He's got a really hilarious, his name is Terry which is funny because that's also the bad guy in the Ocean's Eleven movies. And that particular clip I just played, there, um, he's in this house watching uh, Access TV and they're interviewing George Clooney, which is kind of funny because that's Daniel Ocean. Hmm. It's, it's, it's just, it's funny how all that stuff connects. Anyways, um, this movie's a straightforward film. It's a guy, um, okay, it's a father paid, played by Terrence Stamp named Wilson. And he's looking for what happened to his daughter because his daughter got killed. And supposedly she died from a car accident. But this guy doesn't believe it. Um, but her father, Wilson, he he's actually a... Uh, he, uh, a guy who wasn't really close with his daughter at all so he kind of feels bad but he's like you know I gotta I gotta find out this stuff I gotta find out what really happened to her and part of it's probably because he doesn't really know much about his da daughter um, and there's flashbacks throughout the film where Wilson used to be a criminal and and his daughter was like I'm gonna call the cops on you if you don't stop and uh, so he has memories of that so when Wilson finds these uh, drug dealers the, the, the and this crazy uh, music guy music producer Terry Valentine um, he pretty much you know takes care of business he goes all dirty hairy on him you know he just give him a gun and he just takes care of business so it's one of those uh, yeah it's so I mean it, it's got the violence. It's got the uh, all the all the stuff you would expect from a a thug kind of movie. Um, but there's little moments. What I really like about it is there's little moments where the actors just are just talking about stuff, and the acting is just so good in this. It's um, I don't know how Steven Soderbergh does it, but he has this certain style. You can see it with Ocean's Eleven. And um, with the other a couple other movies he's made, where the characters just feel like they're improvising, they just feel so comfortable playing uh, uh, who they are in the film. Um, the editing's really kind of weird. It does a lot of jump cuts. Uh, it does a lot of editing techniques. I did like the flashbacks. You can see Wilson as a as a young younger guy when he first gets first gets married with his wife. Um, it looks just like him as a young person. I really like that, but it it uh, is ed it's edited in a way, almost like Memento, where it's kind of not as m not as much as that movie, but it's kind of pieced together where you have to kind of figure out what's going to happen, what's going on. There's a, there's a moment where he kind of sees himself shooting it, shooting a guy, and he decides in reality not to, but he can kind of envision what he's going to do next. Um, the action's really good. Everything, I, I like how <laughs> this movie kind of makes fun of Hollywood in a way. Kind of the, the rich lifestyle and things like that. If you've ever played a video game, it's kind of like Grand Theft Auto. Um, kind of like those, those games. 
but um, yeah, I don't know. I, I wanted to see this movie. I didn't know what to expect, and I was pleasantly supply, surprised. So I'm going to give it an 8.5 stars out of 10. 8.5 stars out of 10. Um, it's a fun movie. It's it's not the... I wouldn't say, you know... It's an 8... You, you could give this a 7, and that would be fine. But um, I don't know. I had, I, had, I had an enjoyable time watching this. So let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, thank you for listening.